Hello, today is Tuesday the 30th of November. In this video today, we're going to run through some Australian stocks. We'll start with the ASX 200, the XJO, which uh, you know finished last week falling very, very strongly uh, from that what really is a key level of 7400 you know when it trades around a level as much as this has in the last what six weeks or so and has met previous resistance and support uh, it is a significant level and then this uh, drop was obviously uh, quite significant and if you look at all the other candles just in that short period of time there it's certainly the most dominant most significant candle although it did do well to rally a little bit and recover a little bit today of course this means that you know, generally speaking, I'm doing my scans this morning and there's not a lot coming up for like all, in fact, none came up as all time highs in the last week. Uh, there's not a lot of long opportunities coming up. Even I did my short term scan for long opportunities and I found nothing. In other words, even though things were generally perhaps continuing to move high just over the last week or two, they weren't. They were easing off from highs. So that actually presented me nothing on the short term uptrend uh, front or the scans that I was doing. But anyway, that with all that said, let's go ahead and look at some stocks, most of which are struggling at the moment. This is a stock we've covered previously. It has traded in uh, quite a reasonable range of around 10% thereabouts over the last, what's that, seven or eight months, moving back and forward between support and resistance. It has had a few sort of minor excursions below that 27. You could probably push that black line down to 2650 if you wanted, or sorry, not 2680 or thereabouts. But what we have seen, uh, just you know, with the strong market fall over the last few days, we have seen this sort of break back down through that 27 level and get to its lowest level in around seven or eight months. Um, you know, most would be hoping that it sort of rallies back up and gets back into that range. If it doesn't, if it gets back up to that black line or thereabouts, that 20 cent range there, and meets a lot of resistance and then falls away and starts to move lower, then you'd have to think that's you know, sort of that direct, that's the direction that's going to head for the sort of the immediate uh, future. And that is just declining and moving lower. Another stock we've covered before is uh, Horizon, uh, also struggling. Uh, you can see this is the pandemic announcement low, you know, most stocks did this and a lot have recovered. And it's got back to that level now, 340, got to the level uh, mid-year and bounced right off it. And just in the last week, sorry, last month or so, it has got down to that level and bounced off it and really tried to hang on and push back up off and enjoy some support. And yet again, it's just dropped below that level again. Nothing dissimilar to what we've seen previously. Uh, but again, you know, you'd, you'd like to see a sort of rally, a bounce off that level. At some point, this congestion is going to stop. It's going to move one way or the other. It's going to, going to rally back up to, you know, towards that $4 mark or it's going to perhaps decline even further. One way or the other, it's, you know, potential trading opportunity. And certainly if it was to break through and then keep going and then get back up and fail to break through that $4, uh, sorry, $3.40 level, then you'd think the immediate future would be for it to decline even further. Uh, next is another stock we've looked at previously, and that's the Bank of Queensland. You can see I've identified some key levels here at 8 and $8.50. And, you know, both levels have played a role back through here, resistance, and then some support, support here, support here, and nothing. So no support. So this is now a stock trading at a 12-month low. There's a reason why stocks trade at 12-month lows. And that's because there's a lot of selling, a lot of aggressive supply of stock, and not a lot of demand willing to take all that up. So, you know, if this was to rally a little bit, perhaps get back up to $8. If it struggled and just could not get back up through that $8 and met some resistance in there and fell over again, you'd think potentially there's some uh, downside opportunity there with the Bank of Queensland. The stock we, I don't think we've looked at for some time, and that's Elders. It's just doing something quite similar, you know, trading in that sort of sideways movement for the last, what, well, certainly at least six months, moving between, say, $11 and around $12.50 reasonable range there a bit over 10 percent it just so happens to be trading right at, at the bottom of that range to zoom out for some perspective so you know you'd expect it to sort of get down to around this 11 20 11 and potentially like it has previously i might just draw that line in there for you right around 11 dollars, so you can see that a bit clearly and we'll make that a bit thicker for you so you know look at 11 dollars here and the role that's played and that's just only a few months ago and the amount look that's one two a good three weeks there of just sitting on that $11 level and bouncing off, coming back down again, getting to it and bouncing off. So it's tried a couple of times for here, but there's been a lot of demand willing to soak it up 
at higher prices and not allow it to come down to 11. And we might be in that position now where it gets a nice little bounce off 11 and moves back up towards the top of that range. Uh, Insurance Australia, a stock that is also struggling a little bit and also trading within a range. So I've identified, you know, $4.40 to $5.50. We've seen it, how often it's bounced back and forth off those levels and right now again down at the bottom of that level right at 440 trying to receive some support there just did a little duck below there and then rallied up quite strongly and it's just doing that again so what happens does it you know enjoy some support here and rally back up strongly or does it break through once and for all and really struggle to regain and return back into that into that trading range that we've seen for so long uh, near map just a repeat of what i've been saying you know we've uh, getting down to these levels here, a dollar forty. I'll just draw a line in there, right at a dollar forty thereabouts, and you can see just you know having received a little bit of support here, but just struggling to hold on. So, you know what happens next? Does it just continue to decline? You know it's another sort of what's that? Almost eighteen month low. Um, there's a reason why stocks trade at eighteen month lows. That is for sure. Uh, stock we've also talked about at length, and that's Regis Resources. Again, it's difficult to question how strong that downtrend is. The fact that it was at 6.20 or 6 thereabouts, now just struggling to hold on to sort of $2. Uh, that picture says it all. And this is one of those stocks, and I'm not saying it's getting there. Please don't quote me or get me wrong on this. But this is one of these stocks that one day you might see it at $0.10 cents and go, wow, look at the fall from $6 to $0.10. Cents. And here we are potentially partway through that drop um, with potentially a lot of room to fall. Uh, obviously, it's not doing a lot of things well, and a lot of people don't like it, which is why we see a stock price. And that's as matter of fact as I can put it. I mean, that's just all supply of stock and not a lot of people wanting to jump in and buy it. Uh, another one is Bendigo and Adelaide Bank. Similar to a lot of the banks that have been a little bit sideways for several months, ANZ's an example of that, Westpac's another example. Here's another one that's just starting to decline. And this is not quite falling off the cliff sort of stuff, but just really struggling to get any sort of upward momentum here, any sort of movement higher and just hitting a ceiling through here at around 950. And then all these people buying and trying to push it up through 950, they eventually get a headache. They're just hitting their head up against a wall nonstop, up that, that glut of supply. So many people wanting to sell and it just sort of rolls over and gives up. And again, this has the potential just rolling over. It's now trading in a 12 month low, just has that potential to continue uh, to move lower. Well, that's it for today. Just a relatively short list. But as I was saying, you know, we do the scans, I look for up and I look for down, longs and shorts. And there's just been a lack of longs just over the last week or two. There's been a lot, you know, heading low and there's a lot of shorting opportunities, but just really struggling to find those long opportunities. Anyway, I hope that's been of some use to you and I look forward to you talking to you again soon.